In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a landing page for free using System.io. Now, first of all, I'll show you how to set up your landing page where you can collect email subscribers in exchange for your free lead magnet. We'll then set up your thank you page where your new subs will be redirected to once they've opted in. And we'll also set up an automated email campaign that your new subscribers will be subscribed to. So they'll then start to receive automated emails from you over time. And in amongst that, I'm also going to show you how to deliver your free lead magnet to your subscribers once they opt in. Now, if that sounds like a lot, then don't worry. It's actually really simple and I'm going to show you everything step by step. So if you want to follow along with me, then you can use the link in the description below this video for quick and easy access to log into your system.io account. Or if you don't yet have a system.io account, then you can use that same link. It'll bring you to this page here where you can create a free account. All you need to do is enter your email address. You don't even need to credit card to get started. And everything I'm going to show you how to do in this video can be done on the free plan of system.io. Now, with that said, let's jump into system.io and I'll show you how to create your landing page for free using system.io. Okay, so here we are in system.io and to create a landing page, the first thing we want to do is come up to the top and come under websites and select sales funnels. So now on this page here, we can come up to the top right corner and click on the create button. Now here we need to first of all name our funnels. I'm just going to call this demo landing page just so we can easily identify that. Now here is where you can select your custom domain. So if you have custom domains already set up in your system.io account, then you will select it from the drop down menu here. If you don't yet have a custom domain set up, then you can use the default subdomain for now, but it does look much more professional to connect to your custom domain. I do highly recommend you do that. If you're not sure how to do that, then you can watch this video that I'm showing on the screen right now. I'm also leaving a link to that video in the description below this video, so it's easy for you to find it. And then next we have four options here, but because we're only collecting leads here and offering a free lead magnet, we're not actually selling anything. We want to choose this first option, which is build an audience. And there'll automatically be a currency here. But like I just said, as we're not actually selling anything, this is not really relevant, but you can always leave it on the currency that you would actually otherwise sell in just in case you want to come back here later to add a paid product to this funnel. Anyway, moving on, let's click save for now. And we can see it in the top of the list here. So to access it, we just click on the name of the funnel. And by default, if you look in the top left corner here, system.io has set up two pages by default, which is a squeeze page and a thank you page. So the squeeze page is also known as your landing page or your opt-in page, whatever you want to call it. So this is actually our landing page. And now here, system.io gives us lots of templates we can choose from. If we come down to the bottom and click on 30, we'll get loads more templates. And there's actually quite a lot in here. And then once you reach the bottom, you can click next and you'll see a load more templates. So because this is just a simple landing page to collect an email address in exchange for a lead magnet, it's going to look for something that's quite simple. We don't need a long, complex landing page for something like this. And I'm just going to go with this one here for now. So we can click on preview template. And this is what our landing page is going to look like. So let's select this template by clicking select. That will put it into our funnel for us. And I'm just going to name this just landing page just so it's very clear for us. This is what we're working with. And the URL path, if you set up a custom domain at the beginning, then you'll see your custom domain right here. And with these messy numbers here, I'm going to delete that. I'm just going to write something like whatever your lead magnet is called. And then now to edit our landing page, let's come over to the far right hand side and click on this edit page button. Now this will bring us into the editor. And everything in here is completely customizable so you can change colors wording fonts and so on now first of all you're probably going to want to switch this image out for the image of your own lead magnet now i use this handy tool over here called designer to create lead magnets for me it's an amazing tool and it can create really professional quality ebooks for you in minutes with ai regardless if you want to write the content yourself or if you want designers ai to write the content for you either way works anyway if you don't yet have a lead magnet and you want to see how to use this tool to create professional quality lead magnets super fast using ai then I've left a link to a demo video of Designer to show you how it works. And also that link is also a special discount link because Designer actually starts at $29 per month to use a tool. But the link I've left in the description below this video will give you lifetime access to the standard plan for a one-time payment of $27. So it's an absolute no-brainer if you want to create professional quality eBooks for lead magnets or even to sell them if you wanted to sell them too. So just this demo, I'm going to use this ebook here. So if I click on the little dots icon here, and I'm going to create a quick mock-up of the cover just by clicking this button here. And that designer gives us various styles for our mock-up. So for example, if I just click on preview of one of them, it's going to quickly show me what it's going to look like with my design in there. So I think that looks pretty nice. So I'm just going to click on the button here, save this image. And now that's just created it and downloaded it to my computer. Easy as that. So now let's head back to system.io and we're going to switch this image out. So click on the image and now you'll see in the left sidebar menu has changed once I've clicked on this image. And the top here, we can see this option that says image file. So if I click on this little cloud icon here, now we get a box that appears where we can drag and drop the image of our lead magnet. So I'm going to find my downloads folder and then drag my image in of my lead magnet. 
select and click insert and there we go so now it's really easy to edit the content of this landing page so if i select one of these headings i can just simply start typing my heading in here and we'll see in the left sidebar here you can see we can change the size up here or the line height as well so pretty simple and you can easily change the colors of any words just by highlighting them and selecting the color from here and i'm just going to change the color of this as well Anyway, you get the idea. Pretty simple. And the left sidebar here, you've got all these other elements. If you want to drag anything else in here, like if you wanted to add like a bullet point list of a few highlights, the benefits that the visitor is going to get when they read your ebook, you can do that. And you also have lots of other elements like videos, images, columns. If you want to make it like a two column, I like can drag this in and drop that where you want it, which is how we've got the two column effect here. Well, actually, this is a three column effect. Anyway, you get the idea. Very simple. Any element you want, you can just drag it in. But I recommend for a simple squeeze page like this or a landing page, you want to keep it pretty simple. Don't give them too much to think about other than opting in to grab your lead magnet because obviously that's what you want. And now with our form, if you wanted to add more fields, then you can do so by coming over to the sidebar again, the left and looking for this option here, form input and dragging that in. And if we're going to put that underneath the first name and we're going to choose, say, phone number, for example, and then you can see that's pretty wide at the moment. So I can scroll down the left menu bar here again and then bring it in a bit on the left and the right, just like that. But anyway, personally, I would not collect the phone number because just generally the more information you ask here, the less amount of options you're going to get. You might even just want to delete the name as well and only ask for the email address only. You will get a few more opt-ins doing that, generally speaking. But personally, I do like to get the first name because then you can personalize your emails, which is very useful for building rapport when you're emailing your subscribers after, which can help a little bit with conversions. So I, personally, I would keep the first name and the email address. You can also change the button text color if you wanted to. Just pop that into red. That looks a bit better. And I can change the name of that here as well. So what it says here is get report, let's say instant access, something like that. Anyway, you get the idea. It's pretty simple. Now we can click on save changes and the top right, we see this little eye icon. Let's have a quick look at our page. This is what it's going to look like. Now let's head back into the editor and we're going to create the thank you page. Make sure you save the changes and click on the little exit button in the top right. And now we need to go to the thank you page and select our template for our thank you page. So again, we get loads of templates here. I will choose something pretty simple. So it doesn't need to be anything fancy or complex. I'm just going to go for this one right now. Let's click on select. So here I'm just going to change the slug on the URL path to thank you. Let's head over to the right and click on edit page where we can edit the thank you page. So now on this particular thank you page, there's a video here. So if you wanted to, you can record a quick video of yourself just thanking the subscriber and maybe telling them something like what you want them to do next. So perhaps subscribe to your social channels. If you had your social channels underneath here, you could do that. Or you could take this opportunity to introduce them to a product, tell them a bit about it, and then link this button, the page where you're selling that product. And that could be your product or an affiliate product, just to give you some ideas. Alternatively, you can just remove the video completely and just have written text here if you wanted to. Anyway, let's say we're going to go with the video. If I click on the video now, we'll see in the left-hand sidebar, the menu options change here. And from the drop-down menu, you've got direct link, which is if you've got this video on like YouTube or Wistia or Vimeo or something like that, you select direct link and then paste your URL in here. Or you can even upload your video directly to sitdem.io to host it for you as well if you wanted to. And then if you wanted to configure this button to link to a product, just by selecting the button, again, the menu option is changed in the left again. And here where it says action where button clicks the top, you can select from the drop down to open URL. And now here is where you'd post the URL for whatever it is you're selling that product. Anyway, once you've got your thank you page how you want it, let's click Save Changes and going to come to the exit button in the top right. Now we just need to head back into our landing page for a moment. This is really important to show you. Click on Edit Page. We just want to make sure that once a person subscribes here and then they enter their email address, click this button. We want to then make sure that they are redirected to that thank you page. So in order for that to happen, click on this button and you'll see the menu bar changes on the left again. And we've got the option at the top, Action When Button Clicked. We want this on the drop down to be on submit the form. And then the next option, do you want to redirect the user after contact registration? Currently it's set on no redirection. However, we want to change this to the drop down and select the next step in our funnel. And now click save. When a person opts in here, their email will be submitted to your system to your account and they'll also now be redirected to the thank you page. Okay, so now our landing page and our thank you page is pretty much set up and configured correctly. What we need to do now is make sure that our new subscribers are submitted to an automated email follow-up sequence. And it's going to be the first email in that sequence that's going to deliver that lead magnet to them. So let me show you how to set that up now. Okay, so back in system.io now, let's come up to the top right just to make sure we've saved the changes. And then let's go to the exit button. And the next thing we need to do to set up our campaign is we need to come to the menu bar at the top here and hover over emails and select campaigns. Now here is where we can set up automated email campaigns. 
However, if you're using the free plan of System.io, then you can only set up one automated email campaign. It's also really important to apply a tag to your new subscribers so you can then easily identify them in your account. That will help you to follow up with them in the correct way. You can tag them, for example, based on which lead magnet they downloaded. And I'll show you how to do that in a minute. But again, if you're on the free plan, you only get one tag as well. So this is a bit of a limitation here. So now, if you're at the point in your business where you're ready to upgrade to a paid plan of System.io, then you can get 40% off of your account via the link in the description below this video. So I highly recommend you take advantage of that if now is the right time for you to upgrade. Anyway, to create our campaign, we need to come up to the top right and click on the Create button. Now here we can name our campaign. Let's go name it demo campaign, just so we are clear on exactly which one this is. Click on save. Oh, I've just got to select my sender email address. So that in there, click save. And now here is our demo campaign at the top. Click on the demo campaign. Now here is where we can start to enter our emails. So to enter the first email, come to the top right, click on create one more time. Now here we can write the subject line of your first email. Click save. And now it will bring us straight into the editor for our email, where we can write a bit of content and deliver that free lead magnet. Okay, so just written out a bit of dummy text. Of course, you'd write something a bit better than this. It's just to give us an example, something to work with. So I'm going to hyperlink this now to our ebook. Oh, before I do that, just to show you, I put the first name substitute in here from this drop down. I can select first name and that'll bring it in here. So this will then put in the first name of our subscriber because we collected their first name on our opt in form. So it's really great to make your emails a bit more personable. Anyway, let's say we've got our ebook hosted in our Google Drive account. So if I bounce over to Google Drive, it's just an example, which is obviously not an ebook, but let's say that it is. And I click on the dots icon here. I click on share. When I click on the share button here, what's really important is you need to make sure it's a general access. It needs to be set to anyone with the link. Otherwise, if it's not, then they won't actually be able to see it. And then click on copy link. Now let's go back to system.io and I've highlighted the text. I want to hyperlink, click on the chain icon and then paste our link in here. Click the check mark and now we'll link up to the top right hand side. Click on the button that says save and publish. We'll now have an option to select when we want this email to be sent. So if I leave it on zero days, it's going to go instantly as soon as the subscriber opts in, which is what I want. And now here it says this email will be sent after and there's a drop down menu with nothing in it. And that's because this is the first email. So just ignore that. Click activate, save and exit. And now here's our first email. And you can basically repeat the process to set up your other emails in this sequence. But what's really important to show you is how to schedule them so they're spaced out so they don't all get sent at the same time when the person opts in. <laughs> that would be terrible if they get sent like 30 emails or something when they opt in. So let me just quickly now show you how to schedule them out with email two. So we come up to the create button. That's right, it's just email two, just for speed, click save. And then again, write our content in here, blah, blah, blah. And then when we come up to save and publish, this is the important part. So this email will be sent after and you select the first email and it will be listed here by a subject line. And then you select how long you want it to go after and let's say one day after. If you want to change this to hours or minutes, you can do that here. But for this example, I'm just going to leave it on one day. Click on activate, save and exit. And then here's our second email. So pretty simple. OK, now, so we're almost done. All you need to do now is create a tag so we can tag our subscriber and know exactly who they are which lead magnet is downloaded because as your business grows, you're most likely going to have multiple lead magnets at some point. And then we're going to connect that automated email campaign to our landing page. So once the person opts in, they're automatically going to start to receive those emails. So we're back in system.io again, and let's go to CRM and click on tags. And here we're going to create our tag. So let's come up to the top right and click on the create button. I'm just going to name our tag. So I'm just going to name this demo and I'm going to put those stars there just so this reminds me to delete this one after because obviously it's just a demo and I want to keep it hanging around. And there is our tag at the top. So it's as simple as that to create it. Now we need to go back to our funnel. So select website and sales funnels. And then we're going to come to the one we're working on, which is this one demo landing page. And now once we're inside this funnel, make sure that the landing page is selected. And you'll know it is selected because we'll see that it's got a faint blue background to it. This currently means that the landing page is selected. So with that in mind, the landing page is selected. Let's click on automation rules. And now comes this button here. It says add rule. And the first thing we've got to do is to set a trigger. Click on the plus button and the trigger is funnel step form subscribed. And now on the action side, the action we want to do, the first one is to add a tag. And now we have a drop down. We can have a list of all our tags all listed down here. And here is the one we're looking for, the demo tag. Click on save rule. And now we need to edit this rule. So come over to the far right hand side and hover over the dots icon. So this little menu appears, select edit automation rule. And within this same automation, we're going to add a second action by clicking on the plus button. 
And the action we want to add now is the top one here, it says subscribe to campaign. And now we have another drop down where we can choose the campaign. We have a list of all our campaigns here. And the one we're working on is this one says demo campaign. So we selected the correct campaign, click save rule, and we're good to go. So now let's go and test our landing page. So I'm going to come over to this button on the right hand side that says view funnel. This will bring us to the landing page where we can enter our name. And I'm just going to enter an email address and then click get instant access. And we're redirected to our thank you page, which is all good. Now let's go back into our system to our account and head over to emails campaigns and then select our campaign, which is this one here. And we will see the contact has been subscribed to our campaign right here and they've received email one. So everything is working correctly. So that's it, pretty simple. Now, if you've got any questions, then do leave a comment below the video. And if you've got value from this video, then please do like, share and subscribe. It really helps my channel out a lot and I really appreciate it. Now, if you want me to show you how to create lead magnets super fast using AI, then watch this video right here. Alternatively, you might wanna know how to set up your own digital store for free in System.io to sell products or even affiliate products as well. If that's the case, then watch this video right here.